Okay, question 10. Now, as soon as I see vectors written in IJK form, my instinct is immediately to write it as a column vector. Because I'm a little bit more comfortable with it in that form. Okay, so there we have the two vectors. Um, we're also given that point A has coordinates minus 3, 0, 6. So A is the OA, the origin to A is that vector there, minus 3, 0, 6. Show that A lies on L1 and that OA is perpendicular to L1. Well, the first bit to show that A lies on L1, we just need to show that this this is, is a solution of the, the value r, that its position vector fits that equation. So for part one, what we're going to do is show that it matches up. And we just need to find the, uh, the value of t that satisfies all three of the equations there. Really, we've got minus 3 is minus 1 plus 2t. We've got 0 is 2 plus 2t, two and we've got 6 is 7 plus t, and it's a, a fairly trivial thing to do just to solve these three equations, that one, well, that would be 2t equals minus 2, so t is negative 1, that one would be t equals negative 1 as well, and the last one we've definitely got t equals negative 1, and so um, a is on L1. That's quite nice, but we did have to go through the, the slightly irritating step of showing it for all three of those equations. And that OA is perpendicular to L1. This, this time we're just interested in the direction of the line. The direction of the line is the bit that is multiplied by the parameter. And so we need to show that that and that are perpendicular. Um, the condition for two things being perpendicular with their angle is 90 degrees. The cos of 90 is equal to zero. So that scalar product that we just did, the a dot b, would be equal to zero if they're perpendicular. So we need to do. We need to do which one? That one. Two, two, one, dotted with minus three, zero, six. That's 2 times minus 3, which is negative 6, plus 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 times 6, which gives us an answer of 0. Therefore, OA is perpendicular to L1. There wasn't an awful lot of tricky stuff in that. Part 2. Show that the line through O and A intersects L2. Well, we need, to, we need to turn the line through O and A into a vector equation now. So for part two, well, well remember, the vector equation of the line is just defined as being a point on the line plus some parameter times its direction. Well, the simplest point on the line through the origin and A is 0, 0, 0, the origin. So let's work with that as our point. Um, and so we don't need anything for the point on the line, because it's the origin. And then we need our parameter. I think we can use whatever we want. I'm going to use lambda. Times the direction of the line. Well, the direction of the line is the line that goes from the origin to A. So its direction is the vector OA, which we were given as being minus 3, 0, 6. So we've got to show that that line intersects with the line L2. The line L2 was the line 2, 9, minus 4, plus S, 1, 3, minus 2. 
Um, just, just for completeness, let's just point out that these aren't parallel before we do anything else with this. Um, the direction vectors there, well, minus 3, 0, 6 is definitely not equal to some constant times 1, 3, minus 2. Therefore, we're not dealing with parallel lines. It feels like a pointless thing to do that a little bit, but there has at one occasion been a question where the mark scheme specifically said that in order to show that two lines intersect, you had to start by showing that they weren't parallel. So that's, we'll get that out of the way first. Um, if we're dealing with lines intersecting, then we equate the, the two equations. So we, we're going to put lambda minus 3, 0, 6 equal to 2, 9 minus 4 plus s, 1, 3 minus 2. That's if they intersect. Remember, they've told us here that they intersect. Um, so we're expecting these this to give us three consistent equations. The three equations are minus 3 lambda is 2 plus s, 0 is 9 plus 3s, and 6 lambda is minus 4 minus 2s. Well, we've been given a little bit of a gift here in the second equation, because the second equation doesn't involve lambda, so that instantly tells us from that equation that s is minus 3. That's the only value of s that satisfies that equation. So now we need to check that that's consistent with the other two. If we sub s in equation 1, we get that minus 3 lambda is 2 minus 3. And so we get that lambda is, um, what is that, minus a third? No, a third. I need to check, because that hasn't told me anything yet, I need to check that my third equation is consistent with that. So if we sub s in equation 3 as well, we get that 6 lambda is minus 4 minus 2 lots of minus 3. That's minus 4 plus 6, which is 2. Aha. Which also gives me lambda as being a third. So it's consistent. Therefore, our lines intersect. I want to check the question here just to make sure that I've answered everything because I haven't found the point at which they intersect yet. And the question said, show that the line through O and A intersect L2. So I wasn't asked to at this stage. So I'm done. That's it. Brilliant. Part three. Now, now the question, it's not a big deal, but now the question does something slightly different. Given that the point of intersection we've just found is called B, find the ratio OA to BA. I need to, I need to work out what I know here. I already know the vector OA, so that's okay, I'll, I'll, we've got that. The vector BA, well that's the vector from B to A. I need to find point B, I haven't got the point B yet. From what we've just been doing, at B, um, lambda is a third and s equals minus 3, which would be easiest. Well, it would be the, the one that we made up, wouldn't it? At, we've got lambda is a third, so that the vector from the origin to B is minus, is, sorry, a third times. Minus three zero six. So the point B is the point minus one zero two. Okay. Um, I need to find the vector 
B A, don't I? Because that's the one I'm being asked for in the question. So B A from B to A, that's going from B to the origin, so that's minus O B, and then going from the origin to A. So that's minus minus one zero two plus let's write that to the start of the question, minus three zero six. So the vector from B to A is is that? Um, so what, what am I working on? I'm now supposed to find the ratio of lengths OA to BA. I can, I can probably get a decent idea about what's going on just by looking at these, but let's actually work these out to be super careful that we get all the marks of this. Um, the length of OA is the square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared plus 6 squared. That was minus 3, it wasn't, it didn't matter. So that's um, root 45, which is 3 root 5. The length of BA is the square root of minus 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 4 squared. Which is, yeah, it's root 20, isn't it? Which is 2 root 5. So my ratio of that to that is a ratio of 3 to 2. And that was it. That's quite nice. Oh, yeah, and that's maths.